welcome back to the show. So glad that you found my backup for Anna's Thoughts and Musical Parodies here at Air Speak Out. Thanks for being here. So a Florida Dunkin' Donuts employee was sentenced for fatally punching a customer in response to that customer using a racist slur against him. The employee was sentenced to two years of house arrest plus 200 hours of community service and is also required to attend an anger management course. The victim, Vanell Cook, who was 77 years old, fell to the floor and knocked his head and died three days later. The man who was found responsible for Cook's death is Corey Pujols, who is pictured here. And I found out today that he was actually a manager at Dunkin' Donuts, so I guess they need to be a little more careful with their hiring and promoting, at least out there in Florida. So from what I've gathered from my research, the 27-year-old was sent to jail when Cook died, but only 10 months later, he had his manslaughter charge reduced to felony battery. According to CBS News, in agreeing to a plea deal, prosecutors considered the totality of the circumstances, including Pujol's youth, his lack of criminal history, and the fact that he did not intend to cause Cook's death. He was 27 years old. That's not that young. Two of the primary factors were the aggressive approach the victim took toward the defendant and everyone working with the defendant, and that the victim repeatedly used possibly the most aggressive and offensive term in the English language. According to the Tampa Bay Times, no one from Cook's family spoke at the hearing on Monday. That may have been because he was not the most kind, upstanding citizen himself. Turns out that he went to prison for five years, beginning in 2006, for CP that he created himself. Arnell Cook's crimes were totally unacceptable, and five years is the least that he should have gotten. But it does still seem odd that the consequence for ending a human being's life, regardless of what type of person they were, because who knows what Corey even really knew about him anyway, uh, that that would be less than a year in jail, which is not even as bad as prison. It would be one thing if Corey's life was being threatened, if he was being physically attacked first, but none of that happened according to what we've seen in the reporting. He was called a word that is obviously very triggering to black people, but he still could have kept his cool, let the police handle it, and be a free man today. But instead of doing that, he chose to come around the counter, get in the guy's personal space, and escalated the situation by daring him to use the racial slur again. I also think it's interesting to compare this situation to police officers like Derek Chauvin or Ken Potter, who unintentionally killed the people in their custody, but got much heavier sentences than Corey did. Lastly, I saw plenty of people in the comment section of the article I originally saw about this situation congratulating Corey, saying he did a good thing. And obviously the exact opposite tends to happen when police officers are the ones who do this type of thing. That occurred to me also, uh, because the guy who died was 77 years old, uh, is that he may very well have had dementia or you know, been senile, and that is something that actually changes a person's personality. I knew somebody before who was taking care of his dad or his grandpa, and he said he started being mean recently, but he knows it's just because he's going senile. Um, so I don't know if anybody's even considering that. They didn't mention that, um, but that's something to think about. Besides that, it's really just a word that was said. There was no physical violence from the elderly man that I am aware of, uh, and so this guy, who's 27 years old, I think he was old enough to understand that words are just words and it's the, own, it's the other person's own issue. He doesn't even have to be affected by it by any means. Uh, not to say that I'm perfect at that at all, but I mean, I at least know that intellectually and try to put it into practice. Uh, also, not to mention that I have been through much, much worse than just being called mean names for an extended period. and. I never usually even wanted to fight back because I just don't want to lower myself to that level. I was younger than him too. So at the end of the day, the conclusion that I have come to is that uh, similar to somebody like Timothy Simpkins, this is a correctional edit because I realized that I got this uh, incorrect originally, but that would be Timothy Simpkins 
who got out on a $25,000 bond and was given house arrest just hours after he was put in jail for shooting several people at his school. They may just be afraid of another riot breaking out. That could be a part of it. If you're going to take this word so seriously, you should go on Twitter into the chat rooms full of black people there and see all the things that they say. Yeah, it's just a really crazy double standard. I'd like to finish out, though, with this comment from a mixed race person who I think made a pretty good point. If words can excuse you for murder, I could have used this knowledge as a child. Got it from both sides while young since I am mixed. Racism is definitely not okay, but teaching our kids it's okay to be violent if someone hurts your feelings is the wrong message to be sending out there. Seems like pretty simple common sense stuff, and I'm glad that at least this guy gets it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and let's talk about it. I'm interested to see what you all have to say. Thank you again so much for being here today. Since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also find it interesting. Leave your comments below and we'll all have a conversation. And if you really enjoyed it, check out the description for several different ways that you can support while getting some cool stuff for yourself. One of those ways that you can support is through Patreon, which is a place where I can put videos and extra, extra exclusive footage that YouTube won't let me put here. So if you really want to see the good juicy stuff, get over there for just $3 a month. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night, afternoon, morning, evening, whatever time zone you are in. And I will see you next time.